Out of all the many collaborations Sonic has done over the years, there's always been some that people have been clamoring for for years. And one of the main reasons why some of these haven't happened is because they're simply just off the table. Given how Sonic is a franchise mainly meant for children, some things are just too graphic or inappropriate for their wee eyes. So that's why Sonic has pretty much been stuck to franchises that are around the E rating, with maybe a teen one thrown in if we're lucky. However, there's one game that people, including myself, have been clamoring for for years. Will Sonic ever be in Fortnite? The question that scientists and philosophers have been attempting to answer for hundreds of years now. But today, I'm gonna do their jobs for them and answer it myself, and see whether our favorite blue friend will ever be able to jump out of that succulent battle bus. And if so, ideas for what the inclusion could entail, whether it be cosmetics, weapons, events, you name it. So without further delay, let's just hop right into it. So to see whether Sonic could ever be in Fortnite, let's first look and see if Epic Games has ever expressed interest in having the blue blur. And as a matter of fact, they have. In April of this year, Epic released one of their surveys to gauge player interest. Included, like usual, was a list of popular IPs that they want to know if there's interest for. And alongside Bart Simpson and Walter White, Sonic Frontiers was their front and center. This is proof that at the very least, Epic has at least considered the hypothetical Sonic partnership. And this comes from the same surveys that asked if we wanted to see Montgomery Gator, so you know it's trustworthy. Speaking of Epic, them and Sega seem to be getting along pretty well. Like, remember how Sonic Colors Ultimate came out as an Epic Game Store exclusive? Then everyone got pissed about it, then they realized that it's Sonic Colors Ultimate, so who cares? And besides that, they put a few more games on the service. Like Mania, which was free for a while, and Origins. Okay, what else we got here? Uh, Sega said that they want their Jet Set Radio and Crazy Taxi reboots to quote-unquote mirror the success of Fortnite. Okay, it's not groundbreaking or anything, but they've at least had a history together working on stuff. But now let's look at some more concrete evidence, i.e. the Gaming Legends series. If you don't know, Fortnite has an entire cosmetic gallery dedicated to specifically things from video games. This set includes things like Master Chief, Kratos, Chun-Li, Ezio, and Goat Simulator. So right there is our major dub for the argument, given how Sonic would fit in nicely with all these. And that's just the skins, even more franchises get representation via back blings, emotes, and other stuff, like Amogus and Rocket League. But the thing here that I think is the most crucial for Sonic's possibility is our yellow friend Pac-Man. Since last year, Epic collaborated with Namco and brought Pac-Man into the game. Well, sorta. Since as you can assume, this ain't gonna work. The hitbox is enormous, the head hitbox is the whole hitbox. It wouldn't work with a lot of emotes, and it's just not feasible. So instead of bringing any skins into the game, they simply made some really cool cosmetics. There were 3D versions of the game sprites that were done perfect. The emotes were awesome and even got a Galaxian one. Point is, stuff like this will be important later, so pay attention. Which, speaking of, now that we've pretty much proven that Sonic could totally be in the game, let's check out some like, epic concepts I've got. Me and my buddy Gabe came up with a bunch of concepts for a hypothetical Sonic collab. And not gonna lie, I think we really cooked here. The stuff we came up with would be absolute and complete peak if they actually came to realization. I'm really proud of the ideas we got, so I hope you like them. Starting out, though, we've got what would appear in the item shop. Keep in mind, these ideas are purely hypothetical, and we pretty much just went sicko mode here. And we made pretty much any idea we had a concept. So there's not really a scale here, just our imaginations running wild. But anyway, there'd be two item shop bundles. Firstly, Sonics. Now, here's the big issue. Since Sonic is a three-foot blue hedgehog, it's kind of impossible to put him into the game. Every character needs to be roughly the same height or would either be OP or a handicap depending on the size or proportions. They've scaled characters down so characters can fit that are too big to be in the game like the Hulk, but you can't really stretch out Sonic without him looking weird. Point is, I don't really think Sonic himself can be in Fortnite. However, Fortnite does a lot of collabs, and sometimes even with the game's lore and characters. Like, for example, Bright Star, a fusion between Bright Bomber and Captain America. Point is, while Sonic would almost never be able to fit in the game, perhaps a compromise could be in order. I propose this idea. Either Fortnite characters already in the game, like Peeler or something, are decked out to look like slash resemble Sonic in some way. Whether that be clothes, face paint, plastic surgery, or a new original character being made that resembles Sonic and friends. That way they can stay consistent with other forms of collaborating, and the Sonic skin would now be the correct height. I know some of you are gonna say, Why don't you just use the mascot costume from the Olympic Games? Yeah, because that one still has problems, the head hitbox. And a problem that's been looming over us this whole time. Would Sega even be okay with Sonic holding a gun? We know how that worked last time. But anyway, the bundle would include a ton of stuff, including the skin, which is reactive. Meaning that when you get killed in the game, bunches of rings pop out of your body and disappear. Kind of how with the Pac-Man back blings, the characters disintegrate when you die. And then a back bling of an item box, which would cycle through different icons from the games on its screen. It could also maybe be reactive and start to glitch out whenever you get hit or something. And then maybe bust open if you die, I don't know. And then there'd be an emote, where you summon all seven Chaos Emeralds around you, levitate in the air a bit, and have a glowing yellow aura around you. This would be sick, and is inspired by the Dragon Ball charging up emotes. Then a pickaxe would be nice, which this one would be made to resemble a goalpost. Not exactly like a goalpost ripped out of the ground, but like a staff or an axe that would be designed to look like one. 
And maybe you have the ball at the end, that would be cool. And maybe that could be reactive too when you pickaxe someone or hit something, maybe the ball lights up. And maybe it does sparkles around it, I don't know. And then we get to the other item shop bundle being Tails, it's not him. Same thing as Sonic, an original Fortnite character that's been dressed up to resemble Tails and has the ring reactivity. But for him, he gets a glider, of course being the tornado. It'd have a spinning propeller and be in the same style as a lot of the other ships from Star Wars. But here's a random idea I had. They've never done something like this before, at least I think. But how about if you're in a team game and you have this glider equipped while falling? Your other teammates could possibly circle around you and interact with you by stepping on the wings of the tornado while it goes down. That would be sick, though I'm not sure if it would be broken or anything. I mean, I don't see why it would be, as long as it's bound to team games. Then Tails would get a built-in emote, meaning only he can use it, as the tail spinning him up into the air a few feet, and it'd be traversal, meaning he just flies infinitely and you get to go anywhere you want with it. Then for a back bling, he would have the Miles Electric, which I guess could have the same glitchy reactivity as the item monitor. And finally, a wrap based off the red and white pattern of the tornado with the red and white with the star. And there's both the item shop bundles. Definitely would be absolute peak if these got into the game somehow. I feel like everybody could get down with just these items and emotes alone. But now that those are both out of the way, let's see what kind of event this collab could bring. As this could be a whole ass battle pass event in the game for all I care. What if, somewhere in the map, a random part of Green Hill Zone was rifted to the island? Which if you're not a Fortnite nerd, that means teleported. And there was now a giant ass loop-de-loop -loop somewhere on the island. There, you could find loot, climb around, and most importantly, you could use the grind rails that have been added to the game in Chapter 4 Season 2, and actually grind across the big loop in a circle, going upside down and actually going through the loop. This would be so cool and make such a cool crossover event, and this would be something to be remembered for seasons to come. And plus, atop the loop is a bunch of loot, including the new mythic from this collab being Sonic Speed Shoes. This item changes the footwear of the user to Sonic's iconic shoes, and it grants the user the ability to have infinite sprint at an increased speed, and it will let you be able to crash into other players at boost speed and knock them around and do serious damage. These would be so sick, it would be something super memorable and cool. Such a cool idea would be so neat in the game. IMO, these may even rival the Spideys, probably not though. But even after all that, I've got some bonus rewards that could be awarded to you via quests in the season. These would be alongside the collab, and would be an extra reward you can get for using the Mythic and the Loop and such. Starting out, we've got a loading screen, being with the Sonic and Tail skin, as well as a bunch of random skins in the background, being at the climax of the loop with the camera pointing down at the ground below and all the people. This would be a really neat idea, I'm gonna be real. And it'd be a 3D render of the game, not illustrated. Then we got a neat idea, a Chaos Emerald back bling that has 7 different quests to get it, and each quest nets you a different edit style for a different color. It would sparkle and would look really nice in the Fortnite art style. And having all these colors, like the Amogus back bling, goes hard. Then there'd be two sprays, the first one being a collage of all different Sonic items, all scattered around with flashy colors in the background. And at the center, you got the new Mythic Speed Shoes. That would be cool. A spray of Sonic himself, probably some Uji Wakawa art or something, since I feel like people would get really pissed if Sonic himself wasn't somewhere in this event. And now I think of it, there's probably infinite ideas for sprays. Like, here's some random ideas I had while editing this. And finally, the coolest thing in this whole collab period, a Chow back bling. The Chow would be sick and he'd be like Rocket from the Nexus season, where he'd be more of a companion than a back bling, where he'd float around your head and shoulder and just be your friend. That would be the hypest thing imaginable, like, imagine this. They don't even need to really scale him down, since I mean Chow aren't that big. If they look like this to Sonic height, then imagine them to human height. If any of you have any awesome ideas, feel free to leave them below, I'd love to hear them. But other than that, there's my pitch for Sonic and Fortnite Battle Royal. It was epic. It was really fun to go through all this goofy stuff and see if Sonic could ever drop tilted with the boys. The possibilities here are pretty much endless, and who knows what other characters could even get in the game, like Amy, Knuckles, or maybe even- YES! But who knows, will Sonic ever come to Fortnite? I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on this important matter. But anyway, massive thanks to Gabe, the video wouldn't be possible without him. And subscribe right now or else my Captain Carter Funko Soda is gonna rocket towards your window.